So with with a land speed record car, it's very key to get the wheel just right. So the cars you see running here on Kalahari Speed Week and the Bonneville Speed Trials, they run rubber tyres. The reason they do that is they've got driven wheels. So their engines are driving the wheels, they need traction. Rubber's excellent for that. Around about 400 miles an hour, as the wheels go around faster and faster, the tyre peels off the rims and it comes off. So you then have to go to a solid wheel. So we've chosen aluminium. And basically these trials are to verify not only the material we've got, but it's that final bit of the profile. So whether it's whether it digs into the desert or whether it's very smooth. And it's very key, this surface is unique. And it is, Andy Green's looked an awful lot of places and this is the one place on the world that, that will become the, the world's best place for breaking land speed records. And action. <laughs> Right, the main main objective is we're um, trying two new wheel profile shapes on the on the on the pan here. Um, we came out in November last um, last year to do our first testing out here, and it became very clear that the the wheels we were using were cutting through the um, the thin mud layer on the top of the surface and running on the hard kind of bedrock that's below the kind of mud you get on the top. Um, and they, we were seeing quite a lot of damage to the wheel as it was running on the surface. So we've got two new wheel profiles here today that are flatter. So the idea is to try and get them to run on the, the mud surface and not run so deeply sort of embedded in the ground. Um, if they run too shallow though, then we'll lose any kind of lateral grip because they have to dig in a little bit to get some kind of grip. To start with, we're going to just run the, the trailer down, down the desert for a couple of kilometres and then add some more water ballast to the tanks and then as it, we'll work our way up to the, the full car weight. And then we can monitor how far the wheels go into the dirt as we increase the weight. Um, and then what we'll also do is we'll drive the lorry in some circles um, and if we know the speed of the lorry and the radius that we're going around, we can work out how much lateral grip we've got and by looking at the, the indents into, into the mud, you can see how much the trailer wheels are actually sliding. And from that, we'll get a pretty good un understanding of the lateral grip as well. So that's, that's the plan anyway. It's been really good. I mean, today was, we ran the trailer with the, the heaviest weight, so it's now pretty much what the car will weigh on, on one axle. Um, the, the straight line tests, basically the, the flatter wheel is running to its full width, so it's getting some lateral grip, but there's a concern that it's kind of digging in at the edges. The V-shaped wheel um, hasn't broken through the surface at all. It's been showing really good stuff. It's not been damaged at all by any rocks that are in the, in the surface. And we've just done the, the circle tests either way. And, and fair play, it's been pretty impressive. Um, the trailer has just started to move in both directions and um, yeah, it's showing that we're getting fantastic grips. I think it's been really successful. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's excellent. I mean, it's really interesting looking at how the two wheels behave differently. Um, we obviously made them very different, so we could definitely see a difference. Um, and now we've got the previous data we had that we collected in November and the data from these two wheels. So from this, we'll be able to design the, the optimum profile, should I say, um, for the wheels for the, for the first year. And then when we start running the car, obviously we'll learn an awful lot more about how the wheels are behaving with the real car. Um, but this is the, 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 first, the sort of first major sort of hurdle you've got to get over into designing the actual profile. <laughs>